Hi everyone, I'm Leslie and I'm on Royal Caribbean's ultimate world cruise. We're cruising the world over nine months and I'm documenting all of it right here on Point Your Soul North. So today we're going to load into some Jeeps, we're going to ride through some crazy sand dunes and do a dune safari in Abu Dhabi. Like. I'm in Abu Dhabi. That is, the fact that those words even came out of my mouth are crazy. You and I are going to Abu Dhabi on a crazy dune safari and I am so excited. some fun pics in the cruise terminal. A whole bunch of us, clearly everyone signed up for this dune safari in Abu Dhabi. So we all load into these very padded uh, Toyota Highlanders to head out to the into the Abu Dhabi desert and a Bedouin tent to have a dune safari under the stars. We pass the Al-Bahar towers with their protective skin of 2000 umbrella light glass elements that automatically open and close depending on the intensity of the sunlight. A quick car pick of Abu Dhabi's largest mosque. Okay, there's center of gravity on a Toyota Highlander. I don't know anything about cars, but I did own a 4Runner and the center of gravity is not super. And so going 160 kilometers an hour on the freeway, which equates to about 100 miles an hour, it's a little unnerving. Um, this is definitely not the first rodeo for Desert Rose Tourism, uh, the group that took us out to this safari. Uh, but as we're driving, we pass a um, track where they race camels with robots. Again, if I had ever thought I would say they race camels with robots, this video into the dunes was nothing compared to what was to come. They are a funny animal. Well, hello. Yeah. Is it dinner time? Wild? Is that? No. Some fuzzy in all up there. Wow. Dobby. We're in Abu Dhabi. Like, what in the actual heck is going on? What? Oh, I thought it was going to be crazy hot. It's totally not. It's so beautiful. I'm not a huge like four wheel drive person. I hate heights. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the going down these huge dunes and yeah. 
I was ready to just get to the tent and enjoy our night. It was, it was a lot. When we arrived at the Bedouin tent, it had camels out front and I was bound and determined to ride a camel. And when Petra was canceled, when the Royal Caribbean decided to go around Africa since we couldn't get through the Suez Canal, I was worried I wasn't gonna ride a camel. And so this was a perfect place to ride the camel. This is kind of a goofy camel ride because it just kind of took you around in a circle, but I still was on a camel and they're so sweet. They're so gentle. They literally lean down so that you can get off and um, they're huge and so it was cool to ride a camel out here. I'm in Abu Dhabi riding camel. When we arrive at the Bedouin tent, there are stations of hookah pipe set up, henna tattoo area. You could get into traditional outfits to take pictures. There were raptors you could hold. There were surfboards that you could surf down the sand dunes. I so wanted to surf down the sand dunes, mostly because I wanted to get a picture for you just to see it. Um, but I was get, I had gotten a henna tattoo before. I didn't really think it through. The line for the henna tattoo was relatively short, so I just jumped in the line. But once you get the tattoo, there was no writing in the sand. It takes about a half an hour for the paint to dry. And when the paint dries, it crisps off and it actually stains your skin um, so that the tattoo will last for a couple weeks. So I didn't get to uh, do the sand dune surfing. I really wanted to do it, but I got the henna tattoo instead. Loved it. Um, they had a huge barbecue buffet, um, which had vegetables for me. Um, this is Am Ali, kind of bread pudding-ish. Mm, it's good. It's good. It's got cashews and pistachios and milk and bread. Thumbs up. camel show at the end and when they said that they were gonna have a camel show I didn't quite know what that meant but I have pictures of this camel show that were so cool <laughs> They're so fun. We're there with all of our friends. Um, the whole experience was really, really cool. You're in this crazy remote location in the middle of nowhere, in this Bedouin tent, doing all these crazy cool things. And then at the end of the night, they do the camel show, which I just thought was phenomenal. And then they shut everything down. All the lights are out, all the music's off, everybody's quiet everyone laid on the stage or on their pillows on the ground 
and we all just looked up at this desert sky. I've got pictures of it. It doesn't quite equate, obviously, through my camera, but it was, if you've ever seen a non, like an area where it's, there are no city lights, the sky is remarkable. And this was the perfect way to end a beautiful day. And we probably laid out there for a good half an hour, I think, just dead quiet. Getting hundreds of people to be dead quiet is a challenge anyway. And then to have it just be dead quiet, pitch dark, looking out over the stars of the desert, magical. This excursion was done through Desert Roads Tourism. I will tag them here. I'll give you some information in the caption. Um, it was done as an excursion through Royal Caribbean, but Desert Rose does ex these excursions uh, independently. You can book it directly through them. I'm not sponsored or paid by them. I just thought it was one of the best excursions we've done. Definitely worth every single penny and would highly recommend it. If you're in Abu Dhabi, you have to do this excursion. It was so good. So next up is Dubai, and Dubai is in the top five list for me as places I want to see. So I'm super excited to see Dubai, and I hope you loved this excursion through Abu Dhabi as much as I did. I had so much fun. I hope you loved it. I hope you felt like you were in my front pocket, although it was a bumpy ride. Um, I hope you felt like you really got to see it and experience it like we did. If you liked the video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And all, as always, thank you so much for being part of this journey. It's really special for me to have you along. And until we get to Dubai, bye for now.